Bambinita. of masters yeah. because we bring us yeah. intelligent kids and we are so nice are we definitely infinite wow amazing stuff happening here and i'm so loving it hey when i was a kid i used to be running with ties and all that but seeing this, I'm so happy. We are right at the National Theatre at the Toyota Car Dream Art Concert, and I'm so happy. I'm here with one of the girls who made this car. What's your car? What's your car? What's your car? This is your car, okay. So, what's your name? Yulia Delali Ofoyu Asa. Delali, wow. Which school do you attend? Brimbes Academy. Wow, so you made this car. Wow, so please, I want you to tell the people watching you what you use in making the cars, okay? Can we hear that? I use glue and beads. And beads. beads? Yes. Wow. How, how did you first make it? How did you start? I started... You cut the, the board? No. When I when I came, it was already like that when I started. Okay, you decorate it? Yes. Can I, can I bring my car so that you decorate for me? Are you sure you can decorate it? Wow, that's nice. But aside uh, making cars and being here, what do you want to be in the future when you grow up? A doctor. A doctor. A doctor and an artist. Yes, sir. So you can decorate cars. Wow. Give one advice to the kids watching you today. Okay. Everybody yes. should use their talent, not to go and bury their talent in the ground. Hey, did you hear her? Don't bury your talent. Oh, wow. Give me a high five. <laughs> wow, so say bye bye to your friends watching. Okay, bye. bye. We are here at the Toyota Car Dream Art Concert. And I'm here with a parent. Hello, mommy. Hello. Yeah, please, what's your name? I am Rudy. I'm Halima. Okay, mommy. So today we want to ask you, and I want people to know um, uh, the reason for today's gathering and why you are here. Okay. I'm here with my kids, Farouk and Hawa. They participated in the Toyota Dream Car contest, and their drawings were selected. So I'm here to celebrate with them a yeah, proud mommy uh, yes what's um, your expectation for today anyway so far it's been good i think the arrangements is not bad they've allowed the kids to demonstrate their creativity looking at how they are decorating cars painting and the rest it's amazing and I'm so happy that my kids were part of the contest. Hello, I can see beautiful drawings here. This beautiful guy is coloring. That's so beautiful. Thank you. What's your name? Efua Kobe Juma. Oh, nice name. And you? I just want to be a okay, beautiful name. I like such names here. Yeah? Wow. So, wow. What are you expecting of today's show, Toyota Academy Art Contest? Well, I expect a lot of fun and artworks because I'm really fond of art. So what do you want to expect today? Um, I expect to make new friends, to learn new experiences, new techniques and Is she your friend? I just met her. So it's your friend. Well, I started making friends. Okay. So before then, give one advice to the kids watching you about art. Um, if you have any problems, I would advise you to pour your feelings into your art because that's what I do. I love this. Art is just so wonderful. You can express your feelings through the paints. Wow. So say bye bye to your friends watching. Bye. So, to begin with the program, we have a welcome address by our MD, Mr. Takuya Kajira, who is here to grace the occasion. Thank you very much, sir. I warmly welcome, welcome you to the 13th 
トヨタドリームカーアートコンテストアワードセレモニートヨタガーナカンパニーリミテッド although an automobile company we have an added desire for social development as a moral commitment we have identified education as one of the prime pillars to advance our course of CSR activity through the annual Dream Car Art Contest. We have unearthed great talent with imaginative and creative skills within the Ghana education system. Ladies and gentlemen, this year we received a remarkable entry of 1,379 artworks all over Ghana within a three-month period after the announcement. I announce 75 shortlisted participants with good production will receive medals and dream car souvenir for their commitment and efforts. Thank you. So I'd like to invite Madam Suzy Ansan to give us an explanation of what goes into the event. And of course, let us know the guidelines of the event proper. So Suzy Ansan will be doing the introduction of the contest. Madam, you're welcome. Thank you so much for coming once again. As my colleague rightly said, I'm here to explain in details what we were looking for and how come out of over a thousand entries, we had to take 75. So we'll start with what the contest is about. The contest, as the name implicates, is an art competition, which means we are expecting the children to draw and the contest is not being done only in Ghana. It's being done worldwide. Every country that there's a Toyota organization in there, we have over 90 countries also doing this same competition. So it is for children 15 years below. So if your child is 15 and he or she participated this year, next year, unfortunately, they can't take part. So it's 15 years below for everybody in Ghana not only Ghanaians, for everybody living in Ghana. So it is Toyota's corporate social responsibility that is our way of giving back to the society, especially to children through education. And we're saying it is the largest contest. So it is in three categories. We have the first category, which is under eight years the second, which is eight to 11, and then the third, which is 12 to 15 years. So now let's see what we require of you. They were supposed to draw on an A3 paper. Some of the artworks that we received were on A4, some of them were more than A3. So if your artwork was done not on an A3, it's disqualified. And it's supposed to be done by themselves, using their own hand. We know now there's a lot of computer, a lot of technology that the children can use to develop, but we are encouraging the children to use their own hands to draw. And what are we saying? We want the children to come up with ideas. The whole point of this competition is to develop creativity in children. We know children have a lot of imagination. Some children can say when they, when they dreamt, they saw a car that can fly, they saw a car that had wings, a car that had hands. So we want the children to put all those ideas on paper. And we're asking them to let a car solve a problem in the society. We don't want just a car. The car is supposed to solve a problem that the child identifies. And by that, we're saying you should look around the environment, um, your school, going to visit friends. If they identify a problem, we want them to develop a car that will solve that problem. And that is what we mean by the concept. So I'll just quickly read through because this is what the judges looked out for. The judges mean, does the work express the child's dream of future mobility? 
Is it looking into the future? Is it about mobility? Does it bring about emotion? This is the most important thing that we dwelled on. Because at the end of the competition, we are going to select the best nine. And the best nine, this is what we used. So somebody might, some of the parents will say that my concept was very good. My concept was unique. But we are looking at bringing emotions out of the child. We want the child to be sympathetic to people in the environment, to be sympathetic to his or her colleagues. So the concept might be good, but if it's not emotional, if it doesn't bring any feelings or express any sympathy, the judges don't look at that. So let's kindly take note of that. The artwork is supposed to be emotional. For instance, you might write a beautiful concept, but the drawing does not reflect what you have written. So we have to match the two. The drawing might be beautiful, but the explanation will not be good. Or the explanation might be good, but the drawing doesn't match. So this is all the things that the judges look out for. Make sure the concept that you, the child wrote matches with the drawing. We are also looking at unique characters. When you go downstairs, some of the artworks that you see, they are not things that you've seen anywhere. But people drew artworks that, um, let's say, are existing characters. Somebody maybe drew um, Mickey Mouse, um, Ben 10, all those things. Those ones are not the child's own ideas. We want the children to come up with their own ideas. So we look at uniqueness. And we also look at the artistic characters, how the children colored the artwork, the shapes they used, the various art designs that they used. We also looked at that as well. Now let's see what the children can win. MD mentioned amazing prizes, but we also have some souvenirs that every child will go home with. We have educational materials. We have electronic devices for the special categories, and so on and so forth. But we have the major prize being a fully paid trip to Japan. And this won't be only for the child. The child will be going along with the parents. So all the best to all of us. So by the kind courtesy of MD, I'd like to give a special prize to any under eight year old kid who can answer the following question. Just mention one unique characteristic of an artwork that Toyota is looking out for. And I'll give you a special prize to begin the award ceremony. Under eight? Is the question too difficult? Is it too difficult? Yes, I have a hand here. It should be emotional. He said it should be emotional. And please come and take your prize. Congratulations. So here you are. Your name and your school. My name is Jason Kankambuedu. I the school I attend is Crown Prince. It's Bambinita. of masters yeah. because we bring us yeah. intelligent kids and we are so nice yeah. I will definitely
know when come on children's time for Bambini show. Bambini! 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 Mama, little children, it's Bambini. Come, let's play. In an educational way, come on children's time for Bambini show. A gold award winner, yes, under eight. Hello, darling, what's your name? And I'm a true buffer. Mr. Buffer, what class are you in? Class one, Vic. Oh, okay, class one pair, and you were able to draw. How did you draw this thing? My teacher taught me. Ooh. So my Bambini kids are watching you right now. What advice do you have for them? She learn. They should learn. So that they can win awards like you, eh? And I'm saying bye-bye to my Bambini kids watching you. Bye-bye! Yes, I'm here with another winner, Silver Award under 8. Hello, what's your name? Emmanuel. Emmanuel what? Oh, for Supreme Pet. Okay, what class are you in? Class 3. What do you want to be in future? A pilot. A pilot? Why? Because I want to fly all around the world. So the drawing I saw on the screen, you drew it yourself? Yeah. Wow. So what advice do you have for my Bambini kids watching you right now? They should study hard. They should study hard. So what did you get? I got a Galaxy tablet and an award. Okay. Say bye bye to my Bambini kids watching you. Bye. Hello darling, what's your name? Desmond Fabna Alpha. Desmond? How did you win this thing? Because this drawing, like how did you do the drawing? It's about creativity and you have to look around to find the idea for your artwork. So it's all about creativity. Desmond, what class are you in? Form 1. Form 1? Oh, okay. So Desmond, um, what do you want to be in future? I want to be anything in the creative arts industry. If I get any job in the creative arts industry, I'll be very happy to be. Okay. So please, my kids are watching you right now. What advice do you have for them? I'll tell them that they should look around and find solutions to the problems that are happening around us. There are many problems that are happening around us, so they should look around and they should be creative. Please say bye-bye to my Bambini kids watching you right now. Bye-bye. Glory be to my Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to my Lord. That's Auntie Anne. She's going to Glory you. be to my Lord. Are you cool? This is what you can do best. Auntie, this is what you can do best. Auntie, I have I don't need your chair. Oh. Instead of you advising your son to give his life to Christ and stop stealing. You hey, need to man. mommy. Cannot come from your house and talk to me anyhow in my own household. Oh. If you have any advice, give it to your daughter and leave my son out of your problems. So. Look. I came here because your son has stolen my husband's Toyota motorbike. And I don't want my husband to return and find out. Oh. I don't want him to return and find out. Oh. Jo, okay, if you say so, I'm going to curse. That's the car. Yes, mommy. Rest to where the cultural dancers are. And tell your brother to come here now. Okay. Make sure you don't stay there with him. Okay. So where is Jessica and John? Hmm. She will come and meet me here. That girl. Hmm. Jessica. Jessica, it's been four hours since I sent you, and you are now coming. Look, get, I'm going to deal with you later. John, sit. Look, Auntie Amma came here. I haven't shown you anyone's motorbike. But I didn't say anything about motorbike. So how did you know I was going to say that? Um, the, the, the people were talking about it, and I overheard them. John, John. John, if you know you've taken it, say it all. Say it because she says she's going to curse. Curse? Yes, curse. Shall I call me a thief? Look, I do not take it. John, look, I believe you. John, it's not what you're thinking, you know, John. So, mommy, are you actually going to curse John? No. No. I'm going to pour water for him because he's your ancestor. Foolish girl. What does it look like I'm doing? Nana, poke, care. Nana, poke, care. I call on you today. 
to come to my aid. Don't rejoin for me. John, I knew you were the one who stole the motorbike, but he kept denying John. John, you should have told me the truth, John. John, you should have told me the truth, John. <laughs> Take it easy. Mommy. Talk, I'm here. John, I'm here. I am sorry for all the pains I have brought you. Oh, John, why are you talking like that? I am sorry. <coughs> Jessica, mm. listen to all the advice Mary gives you. <coughs> listen to all. What? Jessica, run and get him water. Water? Water. 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 Jessica, why is the water? <laughs> John. He talks was being tough but rather ending his life. Always listen to mom and dad's advice and stay away from bad company. Avoid bad friends and always be good. Thank you. My name is Rudy and you are? Manasi. Yvonne. I'm Lily. I'm Sidi Musa. Gifty. I'm Janet. Wow. So let me ask Janet, how was rehearsals like? How did you find rehearsals? How many days did you use in learning your drama and dance? Oh, actually we used one week for the rehearsals and it was fun. We were perfect because our teacher who was um, leading us, he was just superb. So teacher, you are perfect. So let me ask you, how, how do you find the fun part of the rehearsals? Um, the interesting part is when someone have um, a slip of talent. Um, Ballet, right? Ballet. We, 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 like, we laughed at the person, and then the person gets also overwhelmed and happy, and it makes it very interesting. So, a quick one. What do you want to be in the future? I'm a pilot. So I want to be a doctor. A lawyer. A musician. A lecturer. Actress. None of you want to be a journalist. Hey, sir. <laughs> so, before we go, let's say bye to our friends watching us. Bye.
Nice. We have the speech by the special guest, the Deputy Minister, General Education, Dr. Yao Osei Edichum. The Managing Director and Staff of uh, Toyota Ghana, friends and families of the contestants, our friends from the media, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. I'm honored to be here today and to have the opportunity to observe this important event and to also congratulate uh, Toyota Ghana for uh, putting up this important um, program here and getting the ingenuity and innovativeness of our children to come out. I think uh, what they are doing today is something that is going to be part of what uh, they are going to do in the future. I believe that by participating in this, they are beginning to see themselves as the innovators of tomorrow. Uh, there's a saying by, or a statement by Peter Drucker, and he talks about uh, the fact that the future of, in the future of the world, as he looks through the future of the world, uh, he's seeing uh, what he called nomadic knowledge workers. Individuals who are so innovative, who are so creative, who are so imaginative, and they can go to anywhere in the world and actually execute jobs for any company that calls upon them. That is the kind of skills that we want our children to have. So Toyota Ghana, we are very appreciative of this initiative and we hope you continue to do more uh, so that the young men and women will become the leaders of, of the workforce of tomorrow. Congratulations to every one of you. one important personality with me. I will not mention his name, you do have the honor. Hello, Mr. Yeah, my name is Dr. Yao Sebichu, the Deputy Minister for Education. Wow, so he's a Deputy Minister of Education. So, Mr., how important is this show to us as Ghanaians and the children? Yeah, the, you see, the Toyota Dream, uh, uh, Dream Car Art Contest is very important in many regards. Uh, you see the various submissions by the students were bringing out the creativity in them. I was touched by uh, one thing that a student designed talking about the fact that he wants uh, his friend to become normal. The friend is autistic and he's saying that I want my friend to sit in the car that I have designed and feel good and, and become himself and become just like me. So children are drawing from their emotions, they are creating from their emotions and those are the kind of creativity we need them to bring to the fore as they study and go through the various classes all the way to the university. Those are the kind of things we want to see from our children. Uh, so lastly, what do you want to tell the Bambini kids watching right now as the Deputy Minister of Education? A great show, um, great people, excited children, and of course, Bambini is the best. Yes, so we are here at Toyota Dream Art Center, a uh, context, yeah. And I'm here with this beautiful woman. Hello, Ma. Hi. Please, your name? My name is Susie Ansa. Okay, please, what role did you play in the contest? 
Okay, I'm the public relations executive for Toyota Ghana. So I spearheaded the whole contest in terms of the announcement, the judging, and the selection. Let me say, it's a nice contest, and I was overwhelmed with the arts and everything. Um, please, what advice do you have for my Bambini kids watching you right now? Because some of them want to be like the kids that won the awards. They want to fly to <laughs> Japan. Yes. Okay, so one thing I'm saying, the contest is for every child living in Ghana. So if you didn't participate this year, don't worry, we do it every year. So next year, I want you to bring all your creativities on board. Get your A3 paper, draw a card that will solve a problem in the society, and submit it to our office, Toyota Ghana, on the graphic road. And you could stand a chance of going to Japan. Yay! <laughs> Thank you very much. Please say bye-bye to my Bambini okay. kids. Bye-bye, Bambini kids. Bambini time. Yeah! Yeah.